when you first open this, it, it tells you here are a few options that you can do. But we are marine businesses, so we're going to go into some specific one that we would like to go over and talk about in terms of creating real live information that we need. So let's say, for example, you want to create a weekly social media calendar for content that you want to create. So there are tons of different ways and they call, they call this prompt, right? And then everything that the prompt gives you, it's a chat. And then within that chat is all the information that may be suggested to you. So what I would suggest you do is try to be as specific as you can when you write your comment for chat GPT. Again, this is the system doesn't have the latest, latest information. It trained up to the end of 2021. This is why ChatGPT4 is so powerful because with ChatGPT4, you can make ChatGPT4 go outside the web, although they restrict that a little bit, but they bring it back, they restrict it. But you can actually tell ChatGPT4 to go outside the web to bring you newer information about that specific subject that you ask. So let's say, for example, we want to create to create a weekly social media blog post ideas for a specific audience. I purposely copy this prompt so you can see the adjustment you need to make. So here it says, suggest ideas for a weekly series on boating season for my social media audience. What I would suggest that you do, I would come, I would begin giving ChatGPT context. So I would say I am a boat rental company and I don't know, Miami, Florida, that's context alone is starting to basically start getting your contact to be unique because now you, they know you are both rent to a company, you are in Miami, Florida. And the other thing that you can do with this is giving it even more context. So you can tell ChatGPT, my target audience is family with, with three to five uh, people and they usually travel from outside Florida area that when they come in, they book online. So all that information you provide to ChatGPT, the more information you can provide it, the more precise, uh, the more clarity that would come out on, on your post. But let's, for this one, we're just gonna run it and you will see. So it's really, it's really just straightforward. You just said, hey, give me some suggestion on, on a few topics. And it just, look at that. So look, I, some of you guys might be super fast writer, thinker. Uh, maybe you probably would be able to write this faster than ChatGPT. But remember, we just got this in less, less than five seconds. This thing writes us all the different posts that we should, we should talk about uh, and tell us exactly how to do that. Now, here's a cool trick about ChatGPT. As you're writing content and comment for it, you can actually restructure some of those command to, so you could say something like, Based on the information provided, uh, based on the uh, on the output, come on, please create a full calendar with due date and responsibility. So you will see, boom. So <laughs> um, as you can see, this is just an example. Obviously you would know who's responsible for this, who would do X, Y, and Z, but that's just to show you the power of this. And obviously there are things, there are limitations to this, but you can even ask it to create a table where it tabular the information for you with different world and, and column. So that's the power of chat GPT. Well, we're gonna take another example of, of, so for example, as I mentioned to you, this is not just to write content. As you can see, clearly we can get a whole social media post content pull out. Now, this is not perfect. And I should have given this disclaimer early on is that chat GPT, information chat GPT give you will never be hundred percent, very rare. What you do have to do is go on through it and see, okay, this doesn't make sense. I'm going to eliminate that or let me rewrite this. Or you can even ask ChatGPT to rewrite it for you. 
But those are very, very important things that you need to be aware of because not everything chat GPT give you is something that you just want to run home with. You want to look at the content that get that provide to you and make sure you make the adjustment. So now I show you how that social media post can be created. Now we're gonna go to a real business information, maybe something like very, very generic. Very generic for let's say, for example, a business, a business proposal. And this is gonna be, I know this is gonna look sound like very corny, but so we're gonna say. Write us a, a very a, a polite email declining a business proposal or collaboration for for another. So this is where you can customize this because if you tell ChatGPT, let me show you for example. If you tell ChatGPT, hey, write me write me something, an email declining a business proposal, it's just gonna just spit things just because it doesn't have any context, doesn't have any information. Imagine if you. If you take the same information, the same text, you just copy it and paste it here, and then you update that information. De write a polite email declining a business proposal or collaboration um, from another competitor. You will see that, another competitor. We are in the boat rental. Uh, actually, we are and the boot dealership vertical. And um, we do not sell, I don't know, something like, we do not sell new boots, let's, say, let's put it that. Whereas the order, uh, uh, the order where, where they want, they want to use to sell, uh, want us to sell his book, a uh, new book. So, so this is just an example of what you see the difference here. So right? we tell, we tell chat GPT, uh, write us something. And now we go very, very specific, tell them what we need. I'm going to answer your question in a second. Um, Greg, um, so that's just to give you an example of what you're able to do with ChatGPT. You see, the image, the, the email is very is now very very specific, and again, this is not going to be perfect. But based on this information alone, you can see how you will be able to craft. It probably would take you a good, you know, twenty minutes, thirty minutes, sit there try to whack your brands, where you basically write the command, and you can see I I make I make spelling errors and that command, it still recognize what I was trying to say, right? So this is where ChatGPT can help you. And as you can see, guys, like live, we just, it takes us a few minutes to write this send, this uh, this long email. If you were to receive this from someone, it would look very long. And it takes us almost no time. Those are the information that you should be aware of. So, and we're going to do one last one. So there are a few things that you can do in so many ways. Here's an example. Again, none of these are just copy and paste back to your website because this is very important. And I will share with you some things that when you write p content for for any of any content that you get from a system like ChatGPT, it needs to be looked at, reviewed, and updated accordingly. Don't just copy and paste it and put it on, the, on your website. Don't ever do that because there's always going to be something that you would see differently that look weird or that may not make sense to some user. So here's an example, write a video script that highlight. So I usually would go, and I show you as an, as an example, uh, write a video script that highlight ABC uh, boarding center. I don't know. If you say ABC boarding center, it means nothing to chat GPT, it's just another uh, boarding center. But what you could say is for context, featuring your uh, featuring our boards, safety measure and customer reviews. Describe the booking process, maintenance, eco-friendly and with a clear call to action. So this is a very good prompt, but what you will have to do on this specific prompt is giving ChatGPT some additional information to say, uh, we are a boot dealership, we are located in Miami and here are the different services that we offer. We sell 
new and used boat. We sell trailer, we sell piers and, and, and you name it. And then we even do mobile services and we do maintenance, we take insurance and so forth. So all of that information you provide at GPT, the more you can provide that information that's unique to you, the more that content you will get back will be unique to you and the more you can take that home. So I'm just going to run this very quick. I'm not going to go into the specific, what, I, but you can see, you get the points, right? So this is what ChatGPT does give you. What I would suggest that you do, sometimes you want to put the limit on that video, how long you, you want it to be. So I would say, hey, write me a five minutes video outline for X, Y, and Z. And here's what we do for context. Here's what I want you to include on it. And so you will have to do those little work, like what we call prompt. But at the end of the day, it probably would take you longer if you were to start this from scratch. That's the point of ChatGPT. I hope this will help you see what's possible.